They come from yeah. Turkey. Okay. So if you want, if you're allowed to take this. I take mean, I'm allowed to take it. You're allowed? I'm allowed to, yes. Okay, so this is gift from you. Thank you very much. But, the thing is, I'm, 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 I may take it, I may, I may return it to you because I don't know if I'm going to read it. Because the thing is, I... I said. Oh, sorry, I, I, this I, is Spanish. No problem. Let me tell you the, what I understand. I believe that there's one God, okay? He created us and he created us for a purpose. And part of that purpose is a test. Yes. And this life is a limited life. One we day are here in school. Yeah, we have to return to him. And we're going to be leave this for a moment if you don't mind. We're going to return to him and we're going to be judged. Now, as you said, I believe that um, messengers were sent. I believe how we know God is we have this internal uh, in, in Arabic they call it fitra. We have a natural disposition to recognize a God. We have the human intellect. When I see you, your eyes, your ears, your breathing, how we communicate. When I see the universe, I recognize there must be a creator. But also we believe, as you mentioned, messengers. Uh, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. And I believe they came with a message and they came with books. And as you said, some of the books became corrupted. But, as you may know, I'm going to say, we believe that the last messenger was the Prophet Muhammad We believe he's the last messenger, one, because he said so very clearly. The Quran yes. said so very clearly. Exactly. And also, he actually told us that there will be people after him who will claim to be prophets. And we've seen this happen. And we've seen that their message, it doesn't, it doesn't suffice, it doesn't fulfill the needs of mankind. And most of these, if not all of them, those people who claimed this, they were humiliated in their life before they passed away, even if they have a, a small group of followers. So we believe he's the last messenger. We believe that... You believe? Yes. How you will know? I, I will tell you. I just gave some reasons. But because when I, I, when I say... When I, saying, I know that because I read a little bit Quran and in this book they explain yeah. a lot about the Quran. Uh -huh. And they said, it was said, Muhammad said, I'm the last prophet. Yes. But he didn't say that another book will not come to humanity. Okay, let me just say, let me say. Um, when I say belief, it's because we're, we're limited by the English language. In Islam, belief has to be based upon knowledge. So it has to be based on evidence. So I say belief, but it's not blind faith. I'm saying this belief I have is based on evidence that he is the last messenger. The books are bought by messengers. So when the, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu brought the Quran, the Quran mentioned in chapter 5, uh, verse 3, and this was about 80 days before the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu died, this verse was revealed, it said, It said, On this day, on this day, Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth, said, I have completed for you your way of life. Uh, I, have complete, I have perfected my favor upon you, and I am pleased for you your way of life, Al-Islam, submission to the one true God. So this verse is telling us that Islam is complete. Every single aspect of human life, uh, marriage, divorce, looking after children, what we're allowed to eat, how we clean ourselves, how we worship, how we pray, how we earn our money, uh, peace and war. Islam is complete, it covered it. That so Allah has completed his favor upon us. So once, when something is complete, the necessity of something being complete is you cannot take away from it unless it, except it becomes deficient and you cannot add to it because it's already completed and then Allah clearly said that I'm pleased with you as your way of life Al-Islam so for me the Quran is the last book the Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger and he said he said I am the last Prophet and there will be no Prophet after me how you will explain this to Christian people yeah. Buddhist how you will unite with them and in one day create golden uh, age. See, see the thing is, this, uh, no, no. is there any way? If I'm you just gonna, propagate, I'm, I'm, if you gonna, just I'm, propagate I'm your teaching, I'm you just, you. I understand yeah. completely what you said. Yeah. And that's fine, yeah. I understand. But there's next step, there's next step. That we all need, forget which religion we go on, that we all need to remember that we are human beings. That's first step. But genuine human beings, it means one, 
you see his Allah in his heart and heart of any creature on this planet, doesn't matter which religion you are, doesn't matter how you are, is out of outfit, doesn't matter what you are doing, even if they're you wrong, are doing. Even if they're wrong? If they are wrong, yeah. we should, on our way of how we live, show them that they are wrong. Okay. Not just teaching. Okay. Teaching with but should we one we teach for 2,000, 6,000 years. Is wrong, and we still if someone fighting. is wrong, should we agree with them? No, but see yeah. the thing is... You don't, you don't argue with someone if you think he's wrong. You just leave him. No. One day he will come on his sense. No, no, no. You can't change anyone. Why Allah don't do miracle and change everyone in second? Okay, you ask two questions. <laughs> I have many questions and I want to ask them. Let me, let me answer the first one you said about uniting people. We understand that when the, the Quran has come, when the messenger has come, or the message of all the messengers, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, we believe they came with all the same message. There's one God, worship him alone. But this message is always going to be a criteria to distinguish truth from falsehood. And there will be people who accept the truth and there are people who will accept falsehood. And even if you, even if you argue with them, even if you uh, fight with them, there will be people who are adamant and firm upon falsehood. We can't, uh, we can't unite upon falsehood. Yes. So when we start to look yeah. on the life from scientific way, yeah. in each country two plus two is four. Yes. Shall we fight about that? You said no, it's not for. Of course not. You see. Yes. So when we bring. Yes. But what is universal truth? Yes. Not just what you say, what I'm saying, what the book says. But did you, did yes, you know. Book. But do you know that Russia. What? Just as an example. Yeah. Do you know Russia? They believe yeah. that 2 plus 2 is 4. They can believe what they want. And do you know that Ukraine believes that. Money, they and Ukraine believes that 2 plus 2 is 4. And America believes 2 plus 2 is 4. You see, and, and Iraq. You're again about beliefs. So, no, so the, but, point, the point is. The point is, even these facts, they're not going to prevent mankind from different yes, advice. See, because it's yeah. about belief. You know, when you make system, yeah. what is universal truth you bring? Uh, where is it? It's coming. Uh, it's already coming. See, the thing is... It's already uh, coming, but uh, people uh, don't uh, want uh, to uh, hear uh, another uh, opinion. Uh, because uh, this is perfect and there is no other, other thing. Okay. It's always perfect about the perfect. Once there is evolution about evolution. Once, 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 this cosmos, uh, there is no end. So what we know? We know just a little bit. Yes. Ground, we oh, no, no. Know. We, we are we are limited. But the point Not I made anymore. is what the point that I made is when the last messenger comes with the last He's revelation. The last messenger. Uh, the last prophet. Uh, no, it's both. His last prophet. No, there's a. There's, there's, yeah, you see, you don't want to accept. I, I tell you. That's problem of humans being. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. I, I'll think, explain to you. Think, I'll explain to you. Think I'll explain why to you. Allah believed humanity the next 10,000 years I, I'll without any let, message? Let me explain to you. No, don't think. Let me explain to you. No, that's fine. I understand. I have, I have, I have, it's, it's, when we start arguing, yeah. that's not that's not the point of the life. No, no, you have to you have to get somewhere. If yeah. Allah leave humanity next ten thousand years without yeah. messengers, what will be? We will be lost. No, because the Quran is preserved. The Quran, as it was revealed, is here today. But still, we are fighting. Even in Arabic country, people are fighting, killing each other, brothers killing each other. Brother, why? And when it will be stopped? Why? Tell why? me when it will be stopped. Why? Because there will always be a battle between truth and falsehood. How and long? Let me finish. How long it will let me last? Finish. Let, me finish. let me finish. How long it will last? It will continue. Because they're always... How long? Because this life is a test. I'm asking you, how long do you think? I'm going to answer. Do you have a message I'm from Allah? How long? I'm going to answer you. It will stop. What you're saying... If we don't make this, okay. Allah will destroy humanity like See, look, he did it before. You asked a question, I'm going to give you an answer. Okay, if you don't want the answer, alhamdulillah. Uh, let, me, let me just. Oh, I, okay, I put the phone down.